so one more property of d block elements that is their interstitial compounds so in solid state we have already studied what is an interstitial inter uh, interstitial space right interstitial is nothing but the vacant space present right vacant space the other name given is void <laughs> right we have already studied there are two types of voids one is your tetrahedral void and octahedral void how many tetrahedral voids we have two and octahedral void is one now as i've already said in your d block elements the atomic radii variation is very less when i compare scandium titanium vanadium chromium like that one of the other element the variation atomic radius is very less so because of this less variation i can easily fix a smaller atoms like or because of the voids also present in that particular metal smaller atoms like Like hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, yes, uh, sulfur. All these can fix into the lattices, right? When they fix into the lattices, they try to form different types of compounds. Those are interstitial compounds. So let us write what did I say? Now, interstitial are vacant spaces of voids. Now, what happens due to uh, less variation in atomic radii? atomic radii then what will happen and that atomic radii also we also we already know they have voids also present because of the disturbances uh, created or dislocations created atomic radii and due to due to dislocations gaps dislocations are gaps if you don't remember that you can write gaps smaller atoms like hydrogen carbon nitrogen sulfur they go and fix into the lattice points they go and fix in the lattice points in between so when they fix in the lattice points they form different types of carbides or uh, depending upon if it is with carbon carbides or if it is a nitrogen nitrides so here i have given you a list of carbides those are interstitial carbides because the combination of transition metals with the carbides so 1 2 3 4 like uh, different now here for chromium manganese when they combine with in the presence of sulfuric acid they just form hydrogen hydrocarbons so why did i give this data because is in the exam if they ask you by chance list out any two carbides of the transition metals or list out any two interstitial compounds of transition metals your this these examples will be useful for you which is an extra information for you all so if they ask you why do they form this if they ask you why why do they form this reason if they ask you for examples this one you can give now what will happen because of the formation of the smaller atoms or introduction of smaller atoms the uh, transition metal atom or that particular compound becomes very hard and very strong enough right so because of this it attains the com uh, particular compound is hard right hard okay if i say strong also rigid rather if i have to first specifically say they are rigid in nature so such for example one more compound like cast iron right <coughs> very strong in f isn't it so that is also an interstitial compound isn't iron incorporated with your carbon atom so this is your information i think i've completed your d block perfectly without leaving any part of your d block chapter i'll be coming into now compounds of d block that is kmno4 and k2cr2o7 potassium dichromate but before doing that because kmno4 and k2cr i have to teach you perfectly so that you will not lose those marks i'll be starting with lanthanides and actinides and then finish off with potassium permanganate and potassium dichromate and then we'll be completing your board papers then i'll be starting your new chapter